Queen of Free Time, we have Sherry Lowe here and then the continuation of Chuck's Big Adventure where he went to West Baden and French Lick. We were also going to look at some more opportunities that you can have with your family to make memories, go on a trip, and so many of our trips to further destinations have been canceled. So Sherry, it's good to talk about things that are close, safe, as well as affordable. Yeah, you know, I have all kinds of great ideas out on queenoffree.net today. But, you know, think about those day trips, those places that if you're not comfortable staying in a hotel yet that you can get to and get back within a day to be able to sleep at home, which is not only a little bit safer maybe, but also a little more economical. How about some more of the unusual or unique ideas that you came up with? So I rounded up some things that I would consider to be kind of roadside oddities. I don't know if you know this or not, but not too far from us here in Indianapolis is Casey, Illinois, which hosts lots of world's largest items. So the world's largest wind chimes and the world's largest mailbox and the world's largest golf tee, all of these very unique sort of things that you can see in one place and they're all outdoor. So that's fantastic too. So you can really, you know, take a quick trip and take some fun road side selfies with those. I also have another roundup of some other Indiana oddities that you can find along the way and some historical land markers. There's some just fun things you can do in that regard. And we're thinking about summer right now, not fall, but you're saying actually maybe apple orchards are even open. Yeah, a lot of apple orchards have summer hours. They may be a little bit different and some of the activities may be a little changed, but by and large, you can buy some fresh Hoosier produce from those places. So check out your favorite apple orchard. We love the apple works down in Trafalgar, but there are so many in the Indianapolis area that you could visit um, and they're a little less busy than they are in the fall too. And you could still have a really great time. So if you're going to do an overnight trip somewhere, how can you score some discounts on those hotels? So here in the Indianapolis area right now, there are some fantastic deals out on Visit Indy where Hoosier residents can get up to half off on hotel stays. So if you're just looking to get away for a night or two, I would highly recommend that you go out and check out that link um, and just be looking beyond the prowl for deals because a lot of places are looking for um, local sort of visitors right now. Hey Sherry, thank you so much. She has many more tips and we'll post a link to her website on WTHR.com. We'll be right back.